Hi. Do come in. My name is Gary Moore. And you know, for many years now, uh, people have been asking me why I wear a crew haircut. Tonight, for the first time, I'm going to tell you the true story. <laughs> many years ago, when I was starting out in show business, there was another young man who was also just starting out. And though we had never met, our paths crossed many times. Because, you see, there was an uncanny resemblance between us. It was just fantastic. I would audition for a job, and I would be told, sorry, we just hired another fellow who looks exactly like you. And no one could tell the two of us apart. And finally, I was advised to change my appearance so that people could distinguish between us. And that's when I got my crew haircut and my real start in show business. And as the years went by, I was fortunate enough to become a television performer, and I sort of lost track of this other fellow and what he'd been doing until just tonight. Now, we are still dead ringers for each other, as you will see in a couple of seconds. But now, for the first time, we're going to appear in public together so that you can see this amazing resemblance for yourself. It's incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, my double. as though I were looking into a mirror. <laughs> Young man, will you tell the ladies and gentlemen what your name is? Uh, my name is Tyrone Power, and I've got a secret. I've got a secret. Starring Gary Moore. That's the way it goes. If that poor kid had cut his hair at the right time, he'd be somewhere today. But we are here today, and glad that you are, too, here on this first evening of 1958, and we would like you to meet our panel. To begin with, there is Bill Cullen, and then Jane Meadows, and Henry Morgan. Oh. <laughs> what are you wondering about, Henry? Wondering what my double looks like. <laughs> this guy's pretty ugly. <laughs> but, and that is, of course, our Miss Faye Emerson. That is our panel. Now, when this show is over, Henry gets out of here like a shot, and I never get a chance to talk to him. We started the conversation just as they were about to introduce you, and you were about to tell me something about what you wanted for New Year's. And I hate to include our private conversations on you folks out there, but I got interested. What do you want for New Year's? Oh, it's so corny, I'm embarrassed. Um, I... Oh, dear. I want Red Skelton to get well. I'll buy that. Yeah. Oh, that is funny. It isn't funny. We can use him real good. Yeah, let's go. Well, so we got one piece of unfinished business here. Last week, among the Christmas cards that we showed you on our show, there was one from Glenn Ford, and we want to thank MGM for getting it for us. And Glenn, of course, is starring in MGM's new movie, Don't Go Near the Water, which, as a matter of fact, is a very funny picture. Now, panel, you all set to play the game? Yep, sir. All right, then we have our first contestant, please. Now, these are the Hayden sisters. The Hayden sisters, and they live in Ottawa, Canada. Now, uh, will you give us your names, please? I'm Paige Hayden. You're Paige Hayden. And I'm Christine Hayden. I'm Michelle Hayden. I'm Judy Hayden. I'm Sally Hayden. So, there is the family. Now, in addition to being an abnormally attractive group of young ladies here, they also have a, a, a singing group. They are their own singing group. They have their father down here in the orchestra pit, and we thought we would, you'd like to hear him sing a little bit just before we played the game. It's a short one, but it's real cute. Sure. Meet me, my darling, and come to the fair. Everyone will be there in the old village where. Join in the frolic and mix with the song to the quaint old refrain of the bluff and still song. You meet me, sweet heart, for we, as we sing with the strong, feel rock and still song. Happy are we as we dance all night long to the glock and silver. Hey, now, young ladies, if you will whistle.
this be your secret to me, we would like to show it at the same time to our audience at home. Here we go. All together. All right. To help classify their secret, I will tell you it concerns something that is going to happen uh, to them. And we'll start with you, Jane, please. Does the fact that these girls have such lovely singing voices have something to do with the secret? Well, let's start with this young lady here, Paige. Paige? No, their no, voices have nothing to do with it, no. You want to go to Christine? Would we be interested in when this is going to happen to you? Uh, yes. Don't tell her when, uh, but just say yes. 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 <laughs> Make her is guess. it going to be soon, I hope? Yes. And it's going to be nice, is it? Yes. Will it be tonight? Yes. Right on the stage? Mm. Mm. We, would have to, we would have to say partially, I think. You all agree with that, Michelle? Yes. Partially? <laughs> all right. So there's $20 down, and we have $60 to go, and we go to Henry Morgan, please. Is uh, what's going to happen going to change you? Michelle here. Pardon? All righty. Michelle, is what's going to happen going to change your appearance in any way? Uh, yes. Does it have to do with your... Uh, your I know you all have pigtails. Uh, Does it have to do with your hair? Uh, uh yes. Well, I give up. Uh, <laughs> you give up and happy well, New Year? Well, so sad as I was going to say what the secret is. And I don't want to be mean. I'm going to start this year right. <laughs> so, We'll buzz the buzzer, and that'll give us sixty to forty dollars down and forty dollars to go. And say you can be the mean one. I hate to be the mean one, but I I think you got it right away. You're just not going to have your hair cut and something changed to it for the first time. Yes. 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 Oh, right here. Believe it or not, these young ladies have never had a haircut in their life. And they're going to have one right here and now tonight of their own choice. Yes, I would like to uh, voice a protest. I, would yeah. I think, in the first place, that long hair is very feminine yeah. and very becoming. Yeah. And you'll regret it. <laughs> yes, Bill? Look at their father down there. The important thing is that unlike you, Gary, not one of those girls looks like Tyrone Power. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that the minute they were... <laughs> Poor devil. Well, young ladies, this is something they have talked about. It's a decision they have made for themselves. So if you young ladies will all step out in the center stage in your pre-appointed spots, if you will. They're not going to do it on stage. Part of it. Part of it will start here, and then they'll go backstage for the completion thereof. A bittersweet moment, Couldn't I imagine. save one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If you will, you, you ladies are there. Now we have five uh, of New York's top hairstylists to cut their hair. Will you gentlemen come out, please? Yeah. Now, because the older should be the more courageous, we're going to start with Sally. And when I say, on your mark, get set, go, we go. And the pigtail comes off. You ready? On your mark, you get set. Here you go, Sally. There's Sally. And then we go from Sally to Judy, who looks somewhat happier about it. You got, did you get one off of Judy? Oh, you got it. All right. Let's take the front one all the way. Now we go on down to uh, Michelle. <laughs> from Michelle, we go to Christine. Oh. A present for you. And then down to Paige, who seems just thrilled by this whole thing. Okay. <laughs> now, if you, will, if you all retire backstage, we'll, uh, we'll keep working on your haircuts. And we'll try to show you some sort of a finished hairdo before the evening is over. Thanks very much. We'll see you a little later, huh? <laughs> now, may we have our next contestant, please? <laughs> now then, panel, we're not going to give you this gentleman's name, for or if you were to know his name, you would possibly know his secret. So we will call him Mr. X. And Mr. X, if you'll whisper your secret to me, the folks at home would like to share it. All right, to help classify Mr. X's rather lengthy secret, it concerns something that he did, and Daisy will start with you. Uh, Mr. X, uh, would we be interested in knowing when you did this? When? Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Was it recently? No. Did it involve any other person or persons? No. Uh, uh, let me say this, uh, that there were other persons... Affected? Uh, there were other persons involved and affected, uh, although the secret as it is expressed concerns only Mr. X. Ah. Uh, would we be interested in knowing, did it get in the newspapers, Mr. X? Was it a newsworthy event? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you win some kind of honor for it? A medal or a... No. <laughs> $20 down and $60 to go when we go to Bill Cullen. I have a terrible feeling by the laugh that came and by today... Now, don't buzz. I haven't asked the question yet. <laughs> by the fact that today is New Year's and it's the Rose Bowl game, were you in, the, in a Rose Bowl game, sir? Yes. Did you write a letter to a young fella in... Uh, uh, a young football player about a month ago telling him not to worry about something he had done that it hadn't hurt you? Yes, I did. It certainly hasn't hurt you, I'll say that. It has not. I it, it, uh, well, I think I ought to pass and help you get the $80 because it's about time that this paid off for you. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I would like to do. <laughs> well, one thing that it has done is develop this sense of humor, I'll tell you. $40 know, down sure. to $40 to go. Sure. Now, I would like now to go to Jane. And Jane, I'll give you all kind of hints because I know you have the faintest idea what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, she's a sports Now, game. wait she's just good. one now, this... moment. Does it have anything to do with a touchdown? No. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, it's up for grabs. Panel, who wants it? Uh, All right, Henry. I think a week's stab. <coughs> Did you uh, run the wrong way? Yes. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. This is a very famous man, Mr. Roy Riggles, and he was an All-American center for California. And in the 1929 Rose Bowl game, Georgia Tech, the opponents, fumbled the ball. Roy recovered it. Now, he spun around to avoid a tackler and suddenly found himself facing an open and empty field straight ahead, so he started running. <laughs> because for once, Aww. here was a center carrying the ball, and he meant to make good on this thing. Now, here's a picture of Roy rushing down the field, being <laughs> frantically followed by his own teammates who were shouting, Roy, come back! <laughs> You're going the wrong way! <laughs> now... Roy, what happened? What, what finally stopped you? How did you finally stop from making a, a crossing your own goal line? Well, my teammate Ben Lom called to me uh, quite a few times. I was running the wrong way, and I couldn't understand it. And sure. finally, uh, he caught me and grabbed me by the jersey and spun me around. And at that time, why the Georgia Tech boys uh, all piled on top of me. <laughs> Well, I want to tell you this. See, uh, you've been living with this peculiar story now for 30 years. How do, you, how do you usually answer people when they ask you why it happened? Well, I don't, I don't tell them why it happened. I, I, I still think that I was doing the right thing. <laughs> That's the way to start 1958. Make a decision and stick with it. Here is your money, sir, that you have won. And uh, your partner of Winston, thanks ever so much for being Thank with us. Right on. Bye. That was a contrived piece of business. That shows you what a nice guy he is. Yes, indeed. Yes, Faye, what did you want to say? I just wanted to say I've always had a great fondness for him because my adored older brother, Larry Emerson, that I think can do no wrong in the whole world, once ran, did, did exactly the same thing. Ran all the way down the field. It was a high school game. It was terribly important to us. <laughs> well, I think that this has given uh, Mr. Regals a special kind of fame that he might possibly not have attained, All-American or not. Well, I've been I, fighting I Larry's fight... battle for many years and <laughs> pointing out this great gentleman as an example. Right. Well, he was All-American. That's the big thing. Now, panel, I'm going to have to send you all out. Uh, without your blindfolds, you need not take them with you. You will need them when you come back. And we will give you a call. <laughs>